William Law was a prominent figure in the early history of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. From 1841 to 1844, he served as a counselor in the First Presidency, the highest-ranking governing body of the Church. This position placed him in a position of great influence and responsibility within the Church. In addition to his role in the First Presidency, Law also took on the important task of leading a mission to Philadelphia. This mission was a significant undertaking and demonstrated Law's commitment to spreading the teachings of the Church to new areas. His leadership in this mission further solidified his standing within the Church. Furthermore, William Law held various civic positions during his time in Nauvoo. His involvement in the local government and community further showcased his leadership abilities and dedication to the well-being of the city. This multifaceted involvement in both religious and civic matters illustrates the significant impact Law had during his time in Nauvoo. Despite his influential role in the church and community, William Law's time in the First Presidency came to an abrupt end in January 1844. He was removed from his position as counselor, marking a significant shift in his standing within the church. This event raised questions and speculation about the reasons behind his removal and the potential implications for the church's leadership. Following his removal from the First Presidency, William Law faced further challenges within the church. In April 1844, he was excommunicated, a decision that had far-reaching consequences for both law and the church. This pivotal moment in Law's life and the history of the church sparked debates and discussions about the events leading to his excommunication and the aftermath that followed.